Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Commander on the second playthrough. Last time we got a twin hulled battleship and we did a couple of missions with it and it was amazing. My only complaint was that it was a little slow, but thanks to a comment by Dickie Rodriguez, uh, he gave a good idea of trying to get Enigma Tech Propulsion 2, which I have one of. I did mission D3 and got an S rank, so that was cool. He also suggested Enigma Tech Sterla, but um, we won't be getting that one, we won't be able to get that one until one of the missions in Sector F, which is quite a ways away from now. So, unfortunately, we'll have to wait on that. Or we could sink 999 submarines, but I'd rather not go for that. Um, I'd rather just wait. So, but we will go ahead and take this, and we are doing a ridiculous 80 and a half knots. This is just insane. In fact, I'm almost willing to even start sacrificing some engines here, just, just because we don't need so many anymore. I mean, two atomic engines gone, and we only lost, what, two knots? 2.1 knots? And this allows this to be centered. Finally! OCD was killing me. Um, and I mean, just, we have a world of possibilities opened up for us now uh, with this extra speed that comes from this amazing system here. So, let's see. It looks like we can go this far back. And can we have it lower? Yeah, it looks like uh, that's about as good as we're going to be able to do with the, those chain guns. Um, but as for other weapons here, let's see. We can now kind of uh, have a little more fun with some of these other things. So the Takeo laser is cool. Let's see what else we have um, that we can try. Let's see. 2,500. What was uh, the Newell laser was one that I liked. I do have a Cyan laser and the Trom laser. Uh, let me go to the comments, actually, because there was a brief comment discussion about this. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, so the Trom laser and the Cyan laser are basically the same thing, apparently. The Luan laser, I remember that one, was a little finicky um, to a certain extent. The Doran laser, I don't remember what that one did exactly. It looks like the Doran laser is the mm, weaker of the Luan laser, maybe? I don't know. Um, let's see, plasma guns, guided plasma gun, wait, I have the guided plasma guns already. Burst plasma gun, that sounds cool. Maybe we should try putting some of these on and see what these do. I've not tried these things before, but if I like the guided plasma guns, I'll probably like the burst plasma guns too. So we'll see what those can do uh, as well. Okay, um, all that done uh let's see do we have any more weapon slots on here not really not at the moment um also waiting on some better missions to be farming certain uh weapons that we want such as light rail guns tower rail guns etc so um yeah okay so let's see what uh, we got in the briefing then here if everything else is ready to go uh, oh, yeah, I did D3, so we're back there now. Nine is next. Okay, good. Destroy two enemy runways. Well, that'll be easy, going 78-some-odd knots. With the successive fall of enemy bases, we have moved into a position to strike at a major enemy airbase. If we succeed in destroying this base, we will be able to restrict enemy air coverage tremendously. This is the perfect opportunity to deal a fatal blow to the enemy presence in this region. One concern is whether or not we have sufficient anti-air armament to endure their attack. Oh, I think we do. We have received a message from communications. A large squad of anti-ship bombers have just been reported leaving the enemy airbase. We believe that the base is currently down to less than 30% of its full aerial strength. It looks like Lady Luck is on our side this time. Your orders, Captain? Who needs luck when you have a twin hull battleship? Luck doesn't even need to be a thing anymore. We can just throw luck right out the window. Screw it. Who needs luck anymore? Twin hole battleship, baby. Let's see, did we get the black screen? No, we did not get a black screen. Good. Yeah. Just like in, uh... You can adapt that famous saying from Halo 3. Tank beats Hunter, tank beats Ghost, tank beats everything. Twin hole battleship beats battleship. Twin hole battleship beats aircraft. Twin hull battleship beats everything. It cannot be stopped. And even soon, I think, we're even going to be able to get a... Yeah, we might be able to get a break wave gun soon as well. 
Station. Which will be awesome, obviously. Alright, 77 knots to the rescue. This is, it's honestly getting harder to keep up with the, with the ship now, as far as uh, the camera goes. I wonder, that's an interesting question. How many knots does this camera move? That would be, that would be interesting if you could make your ship so fast that, uh, if you could make your ship so fast that you could, it could go faster than you could move the camera. A little late on changing the, um, you know, firing mode of that special warhead missile, but, yeah, oh well. I, I had it set to off before, like when I was, when I did mission D3, it was set to off and it didn't, it didn't fire on its own, but at that time it did for some reason. Oh well. It's fine, it's all good. Nothing can stop us now. Oh, this is amazing. Let's see. Oh, that's what the burst plasma gun looks like. I've seen some of the enemies using that, and I was kind of wondering what it was, but I guess that's that's what it was. It's the yellow splitty laser. Yeah, that one. Seems to be pretty good at getting aircraft, even though it's not guided. It just does that, uh, that crazy burst spread thing, which makes it very good to, uh, to hit lots of planes. What kind of parts crates can I expect from this mission? Eh. Mostly not crazy stuff. Char some charged particle guns, which would be cool. Charged particle guns, charged particle burst guns. Those are helpful. I like those. We have uh, one of those on our carrier right now. It's actually very good. So, ooh, UFOs. Look at that. Oh, yes. Also, A ranking this mission is actually what we want to do instead of S ranking the mission. We don't want to S rank the mission. We do want to A rank the mission. That's what we want. Because that will give us auto reload system beta, which is amazing. Right now we're using auto reload system alpha, and well, you can see how well that's doing. Auto reload system beta, however, would be a whole new level of amazing. S rank would give us firing delay system gamma, which is good, but we're not using anything that requires firing delay anymore. We're, we're done with cannons, basically. Because in this game, at least, they kind of get outclassed by, well, just about everything else, so. There we go, we got some ammo pickup there. Uh, I just ate a torpedo, but I mean, I mean, this giant ship doesn't matter too much. Okay, let's see. Where is there a airfield? There's an airfield. Did we get it? I didn't quite get it yet. That got it, though. Uh, oh, battleships. I assume laser battleships? From the northeast, you say? Hmm. Optical weapons, yeah. That's not surprising anymore. I would like very much to get that other airfield over there. Get the other, get the other airfield. Come on, you. Get it. There we go. Cool. Alright. Um... Now, here's something I want to check. What is this? Sink five enemy battleships, but I guess these laser battleships don't count, huh? Eh, probably not. Well, anyways, I guess we'll, uh... You know what? Let's, uh, let's go ahead and use this, actually, and see how it does. I don't expect it to actually do that much damage. Nah. That was hardly anything. No, we're not gonna leave just yet. I want to make sure I get an A rank. Did I lose an... Where is... What? Did I lose an escort or something? Oh, no, there it is. It's hard to see. Everything is going crazy right now. You know what? I don't want to pick up the health crate, because I want to make sure I get an A rank, not an S rank. So... I've already probably destroyed more buildings than I wanted to. Uh, but... We shall just have to see... Um... I want to at least finish the objectives because um, I think that'll be important for getting an, uh, an A rank but let's see oh yeah most of these buildings are destroyed hmm we just might get an S rank even if we don't necessarily want one in this case there are some extra ships here though that we don't want to sink wait where are they up here Okay, let's, let's try to avoid them and just get the battleships. That way del we deliberately sink less ships and only the ships that we need for the objective. And maybe 
that can help us get the A rank that we desire. Let's see, how are we doing on this goal of not approaching the small ships? I think we're doing pretty good here. Alright, let's charge into the center of all these battleships, sink all of them, and then retreat from the sector without sinking those other... I don't know if they're destroyers or cruisers, but they're pretty small in any case, so... We will try not to sink them. Uh, yeah, there we go. Good, good. Good stuff. Okay. Nope. The railgun is going crazy. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. And hopefully we got an A rank. But we might have got a B. I don't know. Two runways. Well, we accomplished our objective, but that noise worries me. The enemy is not going to give this place up without a fight. No, I mean, they fought for it that time. Is that is that not what you're talking about, though? You're worried about them fighting in, fighting for it in another way? Like maybe a super weapon? Huh? We do have a D10, or a mission that ends with 10 uh, coming up next. So, And we got our A rank as we wanted. So, there we go. Got some uh, charged particle guns, which is pretty useful. Firing delay system beta. That's not what I wanted. Heh, <laughs> that's weird. Yeah, the FAQ is definitely not quite perfect, because it says that if you're playing as the US, you're supposed to get auto reload system B. Supposedly, the only way you get auto reload system B, or firing delay system B, as an A rank reward, is if you're playing as Germany or the UK, which we're playing as the US, so. That's weird. Maybe it's randomly picks between one of the two? Or he got it wrong in the... He got it backwards in the... Epic, I don't know. Anyways, that was uh, slightly underwhelming. But we do have D-Beta here. D-Beta is a mission where if we get an A-Rank, we should get a break wave gun, which will be awesome. So, again, we want an A-Rank and not an S-Rank. After our last battle, the scouts investigated the area and came across data indicating the existence of another airbase in a nearby area. Using that data, they searched the surrounding areas and have succeeded in locating the enemy base. We are still uncertain of the type and strength of the forces there. We have been unable to confirm the presence of any ships. So, the enemy was just a bit better than our scouts. Setting that aside, if we don't do something about it, our last operation will have been meaningless. Let us make plans to attack and destroy the enemy base. We believe the enemy's forces will be comprised primarily of aircraft. We must recheck our anti-air capability. Captain, what are your orders? Well, same as last time, basically. I'm going to keep using the battleship for now, the twin hull battleship. It's just so powerful. It has the most health. It's the fastest. Until I can, you know, find time to farm for more Enigma Tech Propulsion System 2s. Um, most health, the fastest, and definitely has the most weapons. It's just our strongest ship right now. So, I think for a little bit here I'm going to stick to this. Just because I know it will do what I want it to do. I'm not going to end up in a situation like I did that one time. Actually, when we did D3 the first time, and I was like, boy, I would love to get an S rank here, but... Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it with railguns, you know. The, our other ships are kind of forced into that. Like, they have a niche, and they kind of have to stick to that. This is just the everything ship, which is great. Full speed ahead. Doo -doo -doo. So again, we want an A rank, not an S rank. So I have to deliberately not destroy certain things. So what else is there going to be to to fight here, really? I mean, like, I don't know what else there is going to be to destroy. Yeah, let's uh, fire one of our special warhead missiles at that uh, particular airfield. Which one of these is the longest range? Probably this. Where's that missile? There it is. Oh, it hit a little early, and it completely missed the darn thing. <laughs> completely missed the airfield, which was the thing I targeted it for. Targeted it at. Anyways. 
Let's fire at this airfield, maybe. Nope. Okay, just destroy the airfield. Like, just the airfield, please. Where's this for Pack Wizard? There we go. Uh, and again, just the airfield. Just the airfield. There we go. Good. That's the mission. Let's destroy some of these other buildings, I guess. But careful not to destroy all of the other buildings. Yeah, kind of like that. Um, There aren't any ships around here. It's just these aircraft. Hmm. Well, let's uh, return, and hopefully that is enough for our A rank and not a good enough for an S rank. It's a weird thing to not want an S rank. Destroyed. I'm glad we were able to find it quickly. If we had approached without finding it, we would have suffered serious damage. I hear sirens. You guys may hear them too. Hmm. We did just have a nice sized winter storm come through and I know at least a couple of trees got taken down. Potentially over power lines. My house never lost power, but I've seen trees down in people's front yards around here. Anyways, grade A, that's exactly what we wanted because... Because, because, because... Unless the FAQ is wrong. Hey, a break wave gun. And we are going to be sticking that on the Twin Hull battleship immediately. As you probably guessed. I'm going to probably turn the tower railgun around to face it backwards. Um... Just for convenience sake, I could do a lot more work on, you know, making sure the tower railgun can still face forward as well as the wave gun, etc, etc. But um, for the sake of convenience and time, we'll just go ahead and turn the tower railgun around and then put the wave gun on the front in the middle. But boy, what a way to farm break wave guns, huh? Uh, just get an A rank, so deliberately do bad in a mission and you get a break wave gun. I mean, maybe you don't deliberately do bad just to get a, just to get a, uh, <clears throat> what was I saying? Just to get an A rank. Maybe you don't deliberately do bad, which kind of happens. But anyways, either way, whatever. You get, you get a stinking wave gun for an A rank. A break wave gun, nonetheless, which is one of the stronger ones, or at least stronger than the normal wave gun. So there we go. Decided, might as well just get rid of the special warhead VLS. It only has one shot, anyways. And it's not as cool as it is to watch when it explodes. It's actually not that potent. So, not for this point of the game, at least. Okay, break wave gun, ready to go. Let's see what D10 has for us this time around. Find out the source of the interference. Okay. Incoming emergency call. At an enemy base 150 leagues east by northeast of your current position. There has been confirmed sightings of an unidentified flying object of tremendous size. Repeat. A confirmed sighting of an unidentified flying object of tremendous size. Intercept and destroy immediately. An unidentified flying object? Come on now. A UFO? We just saw some. Even if we didn't get the special mission, we just saw some. We already knew that these super ships went beyond anything we currently know. Still, a UFO? Like, it's it's safe to assume that the special missions, like the Alpha and Beta missions, are non-canon, because you may not get those to actually show up. But in D9, we saw UFOs. Like, Captain, fortunately, you shouldn't... There are no ships it, plot hole! That are likely to plot hole! Away. Let's show that thing the power of our ship. Unfortunately, my wave gun is actually useless against this guy, but that's okay because we have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of big chain guns. So, should be fine. Okay, here we go. So, let me check out the rewards and pickups here. Pickups. We could get tower railguns or normal wave guns both very nice I did want to farm tower railguns so that should be very helpful the boss is guaranteed to drop at least one parts crate and uh, so that's nice uh, a rank EM shield 6 pretty good pretty good and S rank Enigma Tech Orn O R N I don't know what that does but uh, if we get an S rank we'll find out 
Do 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 do. I'm just go ahead and use the old chain gun trick. Brilladine. I like that it's it's a UFO and it still uses cannons. Like it looks cool, but but why cannons? It's a UFO. I think it can do a little better than cannons. I know it has lasers. But then why do their lasers look like cannons? They're aliens, for crying out loud. Or at least it's alien technology. They should be they should be able to have something other than things that look like cannons. I don't know. Space battleship Yamato has laser cannons. They look like normal cannons for the most part, but they're lasers. So I guess it's not out of the question. I'm just saying, man. Like, I mean, quite frankly, the top half of that thing just looks like a giant, you know, Takao laser or cyan laser or trom laser, one of those big circular flat lasers. That's pretty much what the entire top of the thing looks like. Wow. That was... Okay. That was criminally fast. That shouldn't be allowed. They should censor that on YouTube. I mean, that was just... That was just horrible. A crime was just committed. That was amazing. Um, boy, I wish that had gone that smooth in uh, the first playthrough of this game. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like he was hard in the first playthrough of the game either. And also, I think he was actually a good source, if I remember right, um, on EL1, he was actually a good source for farming some... Uh, yeah, he was a good source for farming... 305 millimeter chain guns because you get an S rank you get a 305 millimeter chain gun in fact that's probably where I got a lot of the 305s that I have now it's probably from farming him on EL1 we have confirmed the crash of the super ship it exploded upon hitting the water that was awesome it was the first time I've ever seen a UFO no it wasn't we've been over this I think I even brought this up on our last playthrough <laughs> Whatever. It's a cool mission. Cool boss. Yeah, uh, we got an A rank. Well, shoot. Enemy sunk 66%. Oh, I didn't let all the UFOs take off and shoot them down one at a time and all that. Yeah, I forgot about that whole fiasco. Oh, well. A rank still gets us EM Shield 6, which is very helpful. Um, tower rail. Ooh, two tower rail guns. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, EM Shield 6. See, that's pretty good. I just kind of wanted an S rank so I could figure out what the heck Enigma Tech Orn was. Maybe I'll go back and get an S rank um, between episodes here. I would say we have seen a lot of success since beginning to fight as a force. I jokingly said I wish the others could do as well, and the commander got really mad at me. He said. Each unit has its own duties to carry out. He didn't have to tell me that. But it is true that we've dealt a lot of damage to the enemy. Usually at a time like this, the enemy would begin peace negotiations, even if it was only to gain a little breathing space. However, this time, there was no sign of that. I'm certain that our side is also trying to make contact through various routes. Just what is that country thinking? It was then that we received startling news. Our enemy's leaders had all defected to a third country. Just what is it that we are fighting? It's aliens! I'm telling you, it's aliens! It's gotta be. I'm not wearing a tinfoil hat. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably aliens. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, three mission episode, but even not even that long, but still, three missions. I think that is enough for now. So, that will do it for this episode of Naval Ops Commander on the second playthrough. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.